Good morning. Welcome to Terra at Home. Well, it's officially spring after a very long, extensive winter that we've gone through ups and downs all over the place. But Terra is in full color, literally in full color. I'm here with Preet Brar, and you're a designer for Charlie Page. Now, the exciting part is, is that we now carry clothing, articles of clothing in Terra. So this is really cool for us, and yes. uh, it's, we will welcome you to the Terra family and to have some of this beautiful color and some really bold colors for spring. Yes. <laughs> really bold colors. We're taking her yes. right off from the dress you're wearing all the way through. So let's talk about some of the inspirations that you have right now for, for color and design. Sure. You know, uh, Canada has an extremely long winter, as we all know. It's, mm -hmm. uh, so whenever spring comes, we're ready to, uh, you know, get into color and bring right in all the color into the wardrobe. We're tired yes. of the browns and the blacks and mm -hmm. the navies. Mm -hmm. So what we we have here is I think our inspiration was to just be fresh you know something that's very exciting that kind of you know builds up the mood it's it's fresh it's springy it mm -hmm. goes into summer so we got the primaries but then um, you know we've got the pinks and the mm -hmm. oranges we've got this beautiful green which is a big trend mm -hmm. for this summer um, and you'll see all the colors are bold and the silhouettes are very bold too yes and uh, one thing that we do in Charlie Page is that we try and keep everything very neutral so mm -hmm. it's almost like you take a piece and you can accessorize it ten different ways Ways. And that's a great pe that's a great part for people's wardrobe is a lot of times people will get pieces home and they don't even know how to put them together yes. because they're almost maybe a little bit too complicated. So as you yes. said, they're very very easy to work with yes. and that they can all complement yes. each other. They're just staple pieces you want to have in your wardrobe. And mm -hmm. we try and teach people and tell them that black is not the only neutral. You know, a pink can be a beautiful neutral. You know, you have a and that confuses people when they hear that <laughs> when they heard the, the, the term neutral being yes. used for a color, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you know, for example, if you have a pink in your wardrobe, you can add black to it. Sure. You can do pink and orange. Mm -hmm. You can do pink and navy. You know, so there's so many color combinations that can work. Mm -hmm. A great example right here is, you know, you can have pink and orange right here. Mm -hmm. So they're both beautiful colors, but they complement each other a lot. They do. So Charlie Page is all about simple, mm -hmm. very accessible stuff that you can wear different ways. Um, you don't have to be a fashion expert to try and put it together. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a pair of black leggings, black ballet slippers, you can wear every single piece in Charlie Page, and that works. Yes, and that's absolutely. a great part. So, yeah. so let's look at some of the the actual style, like the the cuts and designs that you're yes. seeing with some of these pieces right. that uh, that do give it because again, we have all we are we're all different shapes and sizes, yes. and people that are shopping at Terra, yes. you know, are coming in. How is how can they adapt to everybody? Um, you know, um, again, um, when I do shopping, especially impulsive shopping, if somebody tells me go try it in a try room, I've already made up my mind if I want it or not, right? <laughs> That's so true. Uh, the great thing about Charlie Page pieces is that you really don't need try rooms to try and see, you know, if it fits you or not. The cuts that we have are mm -hmm. extremely generous. Mm -hmm. Our sizing is great. You know, it's it's actually cut so that all body types can wear it. Mm -hmm. It's very flattering on different body types and the fabrics we've used they drape themselves depending on what kind of body type you have. They really do have a nice just hand feel to don't them. Don't they? Yes. They do. And this piece in specific has been great for us. You know it's a high and low maxi mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. you know um, a lot of people think it's a very young trend to be high and low but we kind of went through a lot of different sizing to figure out this is the perfect high and low to be for it to be beautiful you know just to show off those nice pedicured feet you right. know, the nice nail paint. Right. Um, and it's just a beautiful piece for all I like how it's, it's got the little, uh, yes. the shorter cut at the yes. front, and it just it's got it's going to have a nice flow to it when right. wearing it. And again, because of the, the way the style yes. of the, the top very accessible for anybody to wear. Very easy. Mm -hmm. And then you know what, and this is such a nice transition piece, you know, even if it's a little chilly, you bought this, mm -hmm. you can always wear like a shrug on top of it. Right. And then come summer, you take it off, you're on the beach, you know, you can accessorize it with nice long necklaces, mm -hmm. with scarves. And um, what I personally love is, you know, you have a scarf, you always have to try and tie it. Yes. Infinity scarf or, you know, right. you know, this is just, it's an amazing little style. That is and, beautiful. You know, it's mm -hmm. it makes you hand free, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's not fussy, you just wear it twice around your neck mm -hmm. and it's just a beautiful drape. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's what I, I think is great about uh, when we look at the different, uh, I like that, that you've it's made reversible. them reversible. Yes. yes. Two tones. So you are getting a little bit of both that look and, uh, and again the combinations of the colors that you put together yes. will just work. Absolutely. And then this top right here is, again, um, if a trend for 2014 is, you know, you have a lot of shark teeth. Like, this is a very flattering silhouette. It's mm -hmm. long, and as mm -hmm. you can see, it kind of goes down from here. It's very loose. Yes. And it has an asymmetric neckline, a really nice sleeve length. So this is all, this is the kind of stuff that you want to wear. It's kind of like a tunic, but mm -hmm. then again, you have your leggings, and you wear something on top like this. Yes. And I keep saying black leggings, back belly, slippers, right. you know, and you're good to go. Like this. Is and just that's the great part. When we are really, you know, this time of year, we're we're still in that that zone where we one day we can wake up it be could be quite yes. mild yes. to the next day we could get snow so 
we're still in that zone right yes. now, so it's all about transition Absolutely. pieces. And again, as you say, everybody just wants to move into color at right. this point. So being able to do this and still having to have those layers right. in some, to some degree, right? Yes. <laughs> Which is what the infinity <laughs> scarf is good for as well, and, right? And I showed you the dresses. So it's, yes. you know, we start with very basic silhouettes. So something very basic you can wear with, you know, with leggings, without leggings, a top or a maxi dress. Mm -hmm. You want to bring in a little bit of scarf here. This is a great accessory. We've got matching bags and we've got matching necklaces. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. in here, you know, we've got long necklaces. Yes. Are I want to pull out actually one of these because these are so pretty too. You know, then again, there's a lot of character in this. You know, you have a solid black here. You want to bring in a little bit of texture. Mm -hmm. So that texture comes from this nice beading here mm -hmm. and beautiful gold accents. Yes. You know, and again, and the gold, it almost, be, having that gold in there with the color, it just neutralizes. Yes. So you could put this with anything. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then we've got these cups, which are great. You know, you've got matching cups, enamel bracelets. Yes. So everything is very classy. You know, mm -hmm, you're not is. looking at overdone. It's not overdone. Mm -hmm. It's for someone who's, you know, who's understated, you know, has a lot of style. Mm -hmm. It's very accessible fashion. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to put together. And, and that's you can what see we love. that all, you know, really all, all age groups can wear this. Yes. That's what's really great yes, about absolutely. it. Yes, absolutely. You know? you know, like if I'm, it's a Mother's Day thing, I would totally buy it for my mother. Yeah. Yes. I'm going out for a vacation, I'm going to a resort, this is what I'm going to pick. Mm -hmm. And again, it's that time of year where we're thinking about that. So we're thinking about people still going away, uh, Easter coming up, and then Mother's Day. So really, it, it's, it, yes. it is, these are good pieces. And you yes. can see, because of the fact that you don't have to try them on, right. you can kind of, you know, the sizing is, yes. is, is it, it is what it is, and Absolutely. it's the, and the flow of the material. You could get away with buying something as a gift for somebody. Yes. And, you and, you know, and, I, and I tell people too, you know, if, when you take it home, you try, there's a lot of maxi dresses that'll stick, you know, or they'll yes. cling, you know, mm -hmm. so you don't like that, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, you not everybody would want a clingy kind of dress, so that's right. why I said, like, the materials are such that they drape on all body types. Mm -hmm. And it took us a lot of time, like, it's not, uh, it, it just, you that's know, we don't just pick it up. fashion so, you know, design, right? Yes. It doesn't just happen overnight. Yeah, there was overnight. a lot of research, and, you know, another thing we think is, um, we're very confident, we do a lot of research on trends, so mm -hmm. this is bang on trend for 2014. Mm -hmm. um, we, we understand, we don't want to spend a lot of money, so this mm -hmm. is, uh, they're extremely well priced, mm -hmm. very well constructed, beautiful mm -hmm. materials, right on trend. That's a good combination yes. of things, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, and we're very confident that you're going to look stunning in anything Charlie Page. Mm -hmm. You know, you should try it out and, you know, just try and mix and match. Mm -hmm. You're going to come back for more, guaranteed. Well, this is the good part. So, you know, like, the great part about coming into Terra now, you know, people will be coming in and it's amazing what you can purchase, what you can put in your in your shopping cart now. Yes. You can buy beautiful pieces of clothing and then and make sure yes. you get your, your sprinkler because you need to get, you know, know. And you can get you can get vases and flowers and gorgeous things. So it's again, this is just all part of the shopping experience now here Absolutely. at Terra. We are very happy to have Charlie Page on board. So Preet, thank you so much thank you. for coming on board thank with you for us. Having me. And uh, again, you just come in and again, it's all about accessorizing and putting all these things together. And I have to, this dress is so cute. I have to show this because I love it. Look at this little one <laughs> shoulder business. How cute is that? This is good for the islands right now. Thank you again. Yes, thank you. All right, we'll be back thank with you. more Terra at home after this. Please stay tuned. where color lives. Heritage Perennials. Look for us in the blue pots. Good morning. Welcome to Terra at Home. I'm here with Andrea Maxim, and you are a naturopathic yes. doctor, right? Yes. And um, okay, so we're here to talk about spring cleaning. And uh, you know, we had a segment a couple weeks ago where we were talking about spring cleaning our homes. Yeah. We need to do it to our bodies as well. Exactly. Right. That's because exactly winter, why we're here. Sometimes <laughs> in the winter, we sort of just hunker down and we put things in our bodies, maybe yep. in excessive amounts, and maybe not quite the right things that should be going in there. 
And a lot of people, we also want to start preparing that summer body too, right? Yes, because so we're wearing less clothing and tighter clothing and whatever. And we and need to hide the bloat a little bit. <laughs> yes. And then doing a nice spring clean on your body is probably the best way to start getting back into shape so that you can enjoy your summer mm -hmm. and not worry about being so sluggish, low energy. And mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody wants to go on a vacation or two, so right. you want to look good for that as well. Right. And it is amazing how when you do start to make a few changes in your body and just some of the, the choices that you make to put in your mouth, yeah. actually does make you feel lighter and it changes yeah. your skin tone and your complexion and just your energy levels. And I don't think people quite understand how much of an impact what we put into our body does mm -hmm. cause on our health. Sure. So that's why we're here. Okay, so where where would we start at this point, you know, as we're, we're you know, in spring and, and where do we start to kind of make that change? I mean, obviously, you don't want to go too drastic, especially right. if you really are a person that eats really bad food on a regular basis. Right. So you don't want to, like, shock your system. And that's, that's actually a really good place to start, though. Mm -hmm. So we know some of the foods that we shouldn't be eating on a daily basis, like a lot of chocolate mm -hmm. and a lot of junk food and things that we can find at most convenience stores. Mm -hmm. But what we do want to start maximizing on is this type of food so the yes. colorful food and the whole way foods whole <laughs> foods exactly mm -hmm. foods that we can recognize and an easy place to start is even just reading the labels if you can't understand every ingredient in a label you probably shouldn't be putting it into your body mm -hmm. because that can add toxicity and that can add to that toxic burden that makes sense because you look at the back of a, a package and especially if you're talking you know processed foods if we're trying to get away from that as well which a lot of people eat I think more in the winter too yeah and and you, you're going down the list and all of a sudden there's a list it's like three quarters of that ingredient list just names that you don't right. even know what that's just doesn't seem good and if you can't recognize it your body can't yeah. either yeah. so what I like to do is try to get people to even just focus on more greens every single day mm -hmm. so we like money mm -hmm. and greens is sort of the money or the cash to our body and All right, the, more we have, <laughs> the more we have the better we feel so this is a great place to start mm -hmm. even just one to three cups a day mm -hmm. added to your diet will really help to get your body back on track, give you more energy, mm -hmm. and a great way to start that detox process. So maybe like throw in a salad. So if you don't Simple. normally eat salads, just throw in a salad of some nature. And that's the great part now is we're exposed to so many different types of greens, right? right. That, you know, just putting that as that's your lunch. That's going to be your lunch. Maybe that's your change. Yeah, exactly. Right? And it's very small, but mm -hmm. it has a dramatic impact. And then if we're talking about things we can add to detoxify the body, adding mm -hmm. parsley or mm -hmm. cilantro or broccoli is really great to add that into mm. the diet mm -hmm. and a lot of people are doing smoothies too so that's yes, another great a way of doing it. Yeah, are juicing as well. A lot of people that normally wouldn't even have gone there right. are starting to juice now, right? Yeah. And so that, that, those are beneficial as well for Absolutely. you, right? Absolutely. Quick and easy too for sure. that um, busy mom on the go. You can mm -hmm. have the whole family involved. Everybody puts in a different fruit or vegetable. Mm -hmm. You blend it all together and the whole family has a nutritious yes. meal that helps to detoxify and cleanse the body. I think that's a great part too with, with kids now. You can actually get your kids to eat a smoothie even at a very young age yeah. and you can throw in spinach or kale but as long as you have the, the, that back end sweet, if you yeah. know you've had apple or mango or something that makes it sweet, it, it may look green which you could just tell them yeah. it's something cool from another planet or something. And then it, they'll actually eat it because Absolutely. it tastes good. Absolutely. And while we're entering into summer months, you can actually pour that smoothie into little popsicle trays and then you can make popsicles oh, out of it. That's and a that's great a really idea. great way for kids to start incorporating those healthy foods into Smart. their diet. I love yeah. it. Now, we also have, besides, you know, again, of course, the first approach is eating all these wonderful whole fruits and vegetables, but there are some uh, products that can help along the way that can give you that extra boost. Absolutely. So, with my patients, you know, if they need an extra kind of kick start mm -hmm. we'll use other protein powders or herbs that help with the detoxification process mm -hmm. just to really purge those extra toxins out of the system mm -hmm. but one of the big things we need to start doing is alkalinizing the body and mm -hmm. that's a big part of it so we want to stay more into the dark leafy greens to promote more of that alkalinity and get rid of some of that acidity mm -hmm. that can happen with chronic stress poor food choices not sleeping well enough and sometimes we just need supplements to get us there mm -hmm. and then food to maintain it and it's good. And, you know, people do like to do that, that detox. I, I imagine it's probably safer than someone going to a store and just buying a detox on their own. There right. are so many different kinds and people can hurt themselves. So you need Absolutely. to talk to someone like you to really make sure that that's, that's the right one for them. And it doesn't even have to be a naturopath. It can be mm -hmm. a nutritionist mm -hmm. or a holistic health care practitioner. Just somebody who knows their case, what they should and shouldn't have, and mm -hmm. make sure that they're taken care of the whole time. Right. And as you say, that is a nice kickstart to, to do something like that if you if you really do want to do that initial purge, like right. whether it's, you know, you're on it for just a few days or a week or whatever mm -hmm. it may exactly. be. Um, and then it kind of makes people feel lighter. Yeah. And then they they're, they have that sort of, it's kind of like when you get you know, sluggish and you got to get to the gym and you don't yeah. really feel, you don't see the impact right away right and it kind of puts you in this cycle of yeah you know 
Yeah. You're sort of on this uh, <laughs> this wheel that you can't get off of. Right. So it gets you right. it gets you sort of the, the get go to, to get right. out there. And the nice thing about supplementation is that it gives you the guaranteed things that you need for the day. So mm -hmm. you're not always scrambling to get it in. Mm -hmm. Just takes a little bit of the the questioning out of it or the mm -hmm. extra effort mm -hmm. but then as soon as you're comfortable with that then of course I always recommend whole food. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're, you're starting to make these changes right and you start to uh, add in um, you know how, how do you really start with somebody that really wants to start right. to change their diet and change their thinking about food yep. right? And we all know what we should and should not be eating and sometimes it's just about the mindset. What's really motivating mm -hmm. you to get healthy? What's motivating you to want to start to change your health? Mm -hmm. And that's usually the best place to start. Is it that you want to feel better for yourself? Is it that there's an event coming up? Mm -hmm. Do you want to set an example for your family? Mm -hmm. And once we put those motivation techniques in place, the rest of it's really easy. Mm -hmm. It's just starting to say no and understanding right. that it's okay to be selfish and make these choices for you because mm -hmm. it'll impact everybody else around you. It really does, especially as you say with a young family. There, yeah. you are influencing them by yeah. every day by your actions and, and, and how you're how you're behaving and whether you're physically active and all that. Um, I think portion size is a big problem for a lot of people as well, yeah. right? We, we should be only eating just small portions throughout the day. And you'll find that the more you start eating those portions with whole foods that nourish the body, the less you actually want to eat. Mm -hmm. When we're filling our bodies up with a lot of empty calories or junk food, we want to eat more and more and more because. That's that's what those foods are doing is they're spurring that um, addiction to those foods. It's a funny thing, isn't it? It is, but if you eat really clean, mm -hmm. often you're more satisfied longer. You don't need to eat as much, which and is also good. And that's the neat thing is what I, you know, you hear that theory about pulling sugar out of your body and eventually once you start to take, your, your body doesn't crave it anymore. Right. It's just kind of neat. Yeah. It takes a bit though. And who wants to have cravings though, right? Yeah. We want to be <laughs> stable all day, we want to have right. nice energy all mm -hmm. day, and when we're having this up and down diet, it's not going to help, so we need mm -hmm. to keep things nice and organized organized, colorful, mm -hmm. simple, simple choices. Mm -hmm. And we should mention your website as well. Yeah, you can find me www.themaximmovement.com. Cool, that's good. And getting good information from your website as well. And it just helps people, again, give a little kickstart if they're looking for some more information with yeah. you to sit down and talk. But, but you know, it, this is good. This gives everybody an idea of how to start that spring cleaning. Exactly. Take care of yourself in the summer. And then maybe you won't fall back that, as far Hopefully. in the winter next yeah, year. Yeah, that's the right? goal. That's awesome. the goal. Thank you so much for coming to the show. It's really good information. Thank you for having All me. All right, that's spring cleaning started inside, outside, in your house, in your car, everything in your body. We'll be back with more Tara at Home right after this. where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the medallion plant tag. Medallion plant locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Good morning, welcome back to Terra at Home. And uh, today we're in our kitchen. We are here with Chef Mark from La Piazza Allegra in Hamilton. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you, thank We're you. gonna do a special cooking segment with you today, thank which you. is uh, well, always fun. And uh, we were just talking about the fact that uh, your restaurant has been very successful in Hamilton for 17 years now. Yep, it's good been, for you. Yeah, it's been a long time. That's a good, a good thing. <laughs> and it's good, good for thing. Hamilton <laughs> as we see Hamilton changing and developing and uh, and and you've been uh, you've been there in the core for all those years. I so have. Uh, that's awesome. All right, Thank so you're you. gonna make a really great dish for us here today. Yeah. Tell us about it. We have a leg of lamb. Now, the reason why I love this dish is it's very easy to do higher end cuts, rack of lamb, stuff like that, but the leg is a little bit trickier to work with. Mm -hmm. But once it's done properly, it's a fantastic dish. So we're gonna sear that. Okay. We're gonna put it over some baked polenta. So we make our polenta, we make it firm as opposed to the creamy polenta that a lot of people are used right. to. Right, yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, okay. and okay. then um, we're gonna do it over uh, the polenta, the wilted rapini, and then we have some chickpeas. And the, the chickpeas that we use are ones that we rehydrate. 
um, ah. as opposed to the canned stuff. So there's a real okay. nice flavor and crunchiness that comes out of that. So you, you got a, a combination of a savory dish, mm -hmm. you got crunchiness with the, uh, the different ingredients in there, a little bit of bitterness with the rapini, so it all really comes together nicely. Good, some good textures, nice flavor, yeah, and it's exactly. actually relatively healthy for you as well. So it you're is. getting some good protein in there. Okay, it is. so where should we start? Okay, so first thing we're mm -hmm. gonna do, we can grab some of that uh, rapini there. We're gonna put it into our pan here. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wilt it down. A lot of people tend to blanch the rapini or they'll put it into boiling water first. I don't like doing that. I find that it overcooks. It gets extremely bitter. So what oh. I do is I'll put it in raw. Okay. And we have some vegetable stock here. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put some vegetable stock and let it do its thing, wilting in the pan as it evaporates the vegetable stock. And it's only going to make it better for you if, but it, as soon as you overcook a vegetable, you start losing all its value, right? Exactly. So there's no sense in blanching it and, and leaching out all those uh, vitamins that are in there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It keeps it within the pan, keeps mm -hmm. it in the dish, mm -hmm. and like I said, it's a little bit easier to control how much you want to cook. Because right. I mean, the worst thing you can have at a restaurant is that army green vegetable. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the one thing we avoid is yes. army green vegetables. You know, you want them nice and bright and you want them flavorful. So, like I said, because these are fresh mm -hmm. chickpeas that mm -hmm. we've rehydrated, we throw them in fairly early on okay. in the dish because they do have a crunchiness about them and they do have a firmness about them. Okay. Now, is that so that's something that uh, you've soaked overnight then? You soak them overnight okay. and then uh, drain them and then you cook them for about an hour in fresh water. We put a couple bay leaves in the water wow. and some peppercorns, give it some flavor too. That's the one too. more where people at home are saying, my God, I could just open up a can. <laughs> <laughs> but can. I understand there is a different flavor profile, so okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to add a pinch of salt to that. Okay and mm -hmm. a pinch of pepper. I think it's nice to have alternatives for vegetables as well. People are always looking for something different to do. That side dish sometimes gets a little boring for people. They they put more effort in there in the, the protein and then the, the side dish, they're just like, oh, I'll just cook some broccoli or whatever. But it's nice to have an alternative. You know, I like the idea of chickpeas, rapini, and again, it's good for you, so. It is, yeah. and you know, it's in season at this time of the year too, which is fantastic, right. okay. you know? And mm -hmm. that's one thing we like to do is definitely cook things in season. Yes. So. We have some oil that I put in the pan. We heated the pan. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start searing this leg of lamb. Put some salt on that and some pepper. Now the lamb itself is a boneless leg of lamb. So it's a full boneless leg and mm -hmm. we just cut it down into smaller portions. Okay. So you're probably looking at about seven ounces here. Okay. Okay. So someone could go to their local grocery store and ask for that particular cut and be able to get it like that, or do you need to get no? You have the to get the whole. And you're gonna have to cut that yourself. They they do make them boneless. Yes. Um, but you do have to cut it down yourself. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And like I said, what's nice about this is it is a it's a fairly inexpensive cut of lamb, which is really really nice to use, mm -hmm. as opposed to you know going to the rack of lamb, which people tend to use right um, all the time and or what they're more familiar with mm -hmm. anyway. And so then it, this is also a good approach for some people who maybe, you know, really don't buy lamb that often because they just can't afford it. So you can at least, this is a little bit right. more of an approachable, you know, exactly. just so you can have something different for me rather than chicken all the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, it's... Uh, when, you, when you're doing a dish, especially something like this, you're really working with the flavor profiles too. Mm -hmm. You got something that's, you know, on the fattier side. So, right. you know, if you go to something like a chicken or something like that, it just doesn't have the fat content sure. that lamb does. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, the leg is one of the more inexpensive, so it gives you a little bit of flexibility on the budget to, to buy the other things. Right. <laughs> and I like, always love the idea, you know, um, when chefs tend to, you know, pan sear their meat first because you really are giving it more flavor by doing that before putting it in the oven, right? You are. You're sealing in all those juices. Mm -hmm. You're getting a little bit of a crust on the outside, which gives, uh, caramelizes a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So you get, you get a real nice flavor out of it. And probably, I guess, because you are searing in the juices, you tend to have a, a, a piece of meat that's going to have be a little bit more tender um, because you have more control over it by searing in those juices. Correct. Right, versus Correct. Over cooking it and drying it out. <laughs> well, when you're doing leg of lamb, especially, I mean, a medium rare, medium is perfect on that. Mm -hmm. um, if you go beyond that, you're going to have to put it into the oven. Okay. Um, it will take some time in the oven. Right. As it cooks, it will get a little bit uh, tougher because the okay. grains, the sure. grain of the meat is going to firm up sure. on you. But, but you can see that. Generally, it's chefs are rec you recommend more of a medium rare when it comes to meat. In Pretty general, much anyway, right, right across, right the, across board. the board. Right across know, the board. I know. <laughs> I know. My mom and dad, being of you know British and Irish descent, will always like want it gray and well done. That's and I'm right. Like, oh, I'm trying to bring them down from that, but it's hard, right, when that's what they're used to. But it's, uh, you know, I know you guys have to do what you have to do, but 
someone requests us. We, we make what people request. Right? However, However um, we're going to warn you. That's right. It's not going to taste quite as good as if we did it medium rare. That's right. So you want to brown all the sides of this. Okay. So basically you're just letting this, again, as you're saying, the, the rapini cook away over there. And it mm -hmm. has that nice bright green right now. Yep. What I find is timing sometimes in the kitchen is hard for people. Uh, you know, getting all of it ready, timing it all up perfectly so that you can serve it and the vegetables haven't been overcooked and turned into that army green as you suggest. So that's, that's hard sometimes. It is. It's probably the trickiest part of cooking is, mm -hmm. is trying to get everything come together at one time. Yes. Um, it, it is the thing that I would say when I teach my classes, it's the one thing people struggle the most with, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. is getting that timing down. And that just comes with experience. The more you do it, the right. better you become at right. it. Right. And always, I guess, having everything prepped and ready to go. Yes. So you're not all of a sudden having to chop up something while something's cooking is not good, right? Exactly. So have it all ready to go. And then I know I'm, I'm slowly learning along the way, too, that, okay, next time I <laughs> have to plan ahead a little bit better. Exactly. <laughs> you can eat that part later. Eat this part now. All right, so what we're going to do, we'll take a quick break. Sure. We're going to put that in the oven now, right? And, yes. Uh, and then we'll come back and we're going to put it all together. Sounds good. Absolutely. where color lives. Good morning, welcome back to Terra at Home. We're back with Chef Mark from La Piazza Allegra restaurant in Hamilton. And we're just finishing up our dish here. Our beautiful lamb is, uh, is out of the oven. And uh, what are our final steps? So with the rapini, I just added some olive oil. I'm gonna add mm -hmm. a touch of pureed garlic. Okay. And I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese to this. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna let finish that off. This one over here is the pan where the lamb was. Mm -hmm. I have some demi-glace, so okay. I'm going to add some demi-glace. And we're putting it right in the pan that we seared, so okay. it pulls all that flavor off. Okay. There we go. This is the polenta that we had baked. Mm -hmm. Put it in the oven, taking it out. Now, polenta is fairly easy to make. Um, there are several recipes you can find online, and they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. So We were saying that sometimes polenta can be very soft and loose, but you Correct. make yours a little more on the firm side. I do make it a little on the firm side. Mm -hmm. I like it um, so that we can bake it, grill it, or whatever we like. Mm -hmm. So there's the lamb. Just give it a nice oh. slice. You know when you're dealing with a, a real chef versus just us that cook at home, right? The way you cut things, <laughs> preparation. <laughs> so there's that rapini. And we have those chickpeas. We're going to get them onto wow, that's awesome. the plate. <laughs> We're going to remind people that you can actually find this recipe on our website, so you can go to terragreenhouses.com and, uh, and try to put this together yourself, which would be awesome. If you can't, then you can just go to the restaurant, or you can do both and see which one. There you go. <laughs> try it out, right? That is we'll great. We'll put the lamb right on top, and then we have that demi-glace. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll add a little bit more on this one. So uh, uh, normally a demi-glace would actually take a fair amount of time to put it's together, but process. again, it's, it's uh, quite a process. But you can, as you said, you know, go on a website, try to find, uh, go on the internet, Google it up and uh, try to put together your own, because it just adds a little bit more it uh, does. to the dish at the end. Yeah. We really appreciate you coming on the show and uh, cooking cookware. up something lovely for us. That's fantastic. Look how beautiful that is. Very good. Nice to have you. Thank you. All right, that's it for Terra at Home. Maybe you can try it this weekend. We'll see you next weekend.